Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday we're going to be taking a look at how to rename your blocks within an AutoCAD drawing. Uh, I've been asked this one a few times and it's definitely not clear up front how to rename them. Uh, so that's what we're taking a look at today. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so getting right into this one, we're going to be taking a look at how to rename blocks within AutoCAD. I'm also going to show you after a cool tip for selecting a bunch of blocks and removing them, as well as how to uh, remove them from your drawing completely when you're finished. Uh, first up, let's rename some blocks. So you can see in this drawing example here, we've got a handful of blocks. Uh, selecting this one here, you can see it's called lighting fixture. Say you want to rename this or maybe you have blocks that are simply a string of letters and numbers uh, because they were imported from a reference drawing or you got the drawing from someone else and you just want to clean it up. So in our case we're going to change this block here to overhead lighting. That's what we're going to call it. It's currently called lighting fixture. You can see in the properties window over here. To start the command you're going to want to type in rename and hit enter and then on the left here you're going to want to choose blocks now one cool thing with this rename uh, feature is that you can rename a lot of things within autocad simply choosing the object type and then the item allows you to then enter in a new name so in our case we're going to be changing our lighting fixture so we're going to select our item and then we're going to change down here the name by typing in a new name. In our case, we're going to type in overhead light and we're going to simply click the rename to and you can see in the list it has now changed. Hitting OK is going to end the command, but you can also choose and rename a few more items while you're in here. Let's call this one here. It's currently window. We can call this new window and type and hit rename. So now you can see our block names have been changed and by hitting OK we finalize that. Now choosing our old lighting fixture block it's now called overhead of light and you can see it's changed that name for every instance of that block. Alright so I hope that helps with renaming blocks in your AutoCAD drawings. Uh, before we jump into the next tip I wanted to mention if you like this tip or any of the tips on my channel uh, I've got an AutoCAD productivity webinar uh, which is available now for download. It's an hour long and it's packed full of tips and productivity tricks like these uh, and I think everybody can gain something from it. Uh, I'm going to put that link up above and down below. I also have an AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, which is multiple hours of content. Uh, it dives deep into lots of different uh, workflows within AutoCAD, including drawing creation, template creation, setting up your drawings, plotting drawings, finalizing, as well as a good way to organize and set up your files in general. That course is also available now for download and is going to be linked below. All right, let's jump into the second part of this video here. And that's how we can quickly select or quick select uh, a specific block and all of them within a drawing. This can help you delete them or simply change up some properties to a whole group of blocks. So to activate the quick select, you're gonna right click anywhere on the screen and choose quick select down here. You can also type in Q select to bring up this prompt. And then in this dialog box here, you're gonna to wanna to choose object type and change it to a block reference. From here, that you can then go to the properties scroll here, scroll down and choose name and set up your operator to equals. This means every block with the name that equals the value you choose here is going to be selected and included in a new selection set. So this allows you to quickly select all of a specific type of block within your drawing uh, to easily update properties, delete it, whatever you need to do. In our case, we're going to choose all of those overhead light blocks that we just modified and hit OK. You can see they've now all been selected within our drawing 
you can see we have 16 of them here. And now if we wanted to do something like change our scale, maybe we wanted to scale them all up by 50% to 1.5 scale here, you can see now they've all gotten larger. Conversely, if you'd like to simply delete them all, this is a great way to make sure that you get all of the ones in your drawing. Hitting the delete button or E for erase and enter removes them all and now you have the ability to purge them from your drawing because if you were to say hit I for insert you can see in the uh, block list here that the overhead light is still technically within our drawing but if you're trying to clean out a drawing from having an excess amount of blocks you can use the purge command which we've talked about in a recent video which I'll link below if you'd like more details but typing in purge and hitting enter brings up the purge dialog, which allows you to remove any objects within your drawing, which are not currently being used or inserted in your drawing. So by hitting this plus sign next to blocks, you can see the only block in our clean drawing that's not being used is the overhead of light block. You can see there are no plus signs next to anything else. By right clicking on it, you can choose purge. You can also choose purge or purge all from the bottom. Again, I go into the details of the purge command uh, in a recent video, which I'll have linked below. Hitting purge is gonna ask if we want to uh, purge it. If we're sure, you can skip it or purge this item. You can see now that it's been removed from the list. And just to double check, if we type in I for insert, you'll see that it's no longer on the list here. So it's fully removed from our drawing and gone. So we have a slightly cleaner drawing and you've now learned how to rename as well as select blocks quickly uh, within AutoCAD. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the thumbs up to like the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos thanks again cheers